Philip, here's your news. In news, Maine. And we know all too well just how hard Swifties work to secure their tickets to the show. And now, after months of waiting, it's time to go. News Center Maine's Ann Baldridge spoke with fans heading to the show tonight, hoping to see her in the midnight rain. Taylor Swift has finished up her very first night at Gillette Stadium, but it's not over yet. Fans in Maine who survived the great ticket master war are getting ready to see her again this weekend. It's already the best concert of my life. I haven't even gone yet. <laughs> Take it from Nicole Blake and Sarah Ficus. You had to be pretty fearless to snag these tickets. I took two days off of work to commit to try to buy tickets. I was on a computer, my friend was on a computer, and my sister, and we were on there for hours and hours, and finally my sister's like, I'm in, I got them. They were $300 a piece, but I was like, do it, let's just do it. Now Blake's wildest dreams are coming true. I definitely think it's safe to say that um, I'm a Taylor Swift super fan. I think like this is what I've been looking forward to like more than anything probably I've ever been to. Meanwhile for Sarah, she's not just going for herself. When I was young, she came out with like Tim McGraw and things like that when she was more country and I liked her even back then. Then I kind of fell off the Taylor Swift wagon for a little bit until I had my daughter. Her daughter Natalie, who's having a pretty lucky year being 13. I've personally been a fan for a really, really long time, like since I was little. She just like is Taylor Swift, like she just, she can't do anything wrong. <laughs> But the connection Taylor has with her fans is nothing new. Like, it's almost like we have this relationship with her. Like, it just speaks to you in a different type of way. I think that she really is, like, the artist of my generation. It's like I've grown up with her music, and it's just always kind of felt like the right time for her to be releasing those music for me. An exciting experience for generations young and old. It's going to be, like, such a fun one to go to. All waiting to hear their song. one more time on Sunday night before it's time to move on to her next stop. Reporting in Portland, Ann Baldridge, New Center, Maine. As Ann just said, Taylor Swift will have her last show tomorrow night at Gillette Stadium, and that's an opportunity for fans in New England to have their last chance to grab one of these cool bracelets. And shout out to Sarah, one of our audio workers here at the station. She went to the concert last night. Let me borrow this band, and it's glowing for a reason I don't understand but I will get informed after the newscast. If slow, unreliable internet is affecting your business, you're going to love Fidium at Work from Fidium Fiber Internet. With Fidium at Work, you get the service you pay for because it's 100% fiber internet over a dedicated connection to your business. That includes the same upload and download speeds. Plus, you get the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology to enable consistently faster Wi-Fi speeds and wider coverage. That's sure to keep everyone happy, connected, and productive. Find out more at fidiumfiber.com slash smallbusiness. A man from Westbrook has been seriously hurt in a motorcycle crash in Harrison. Police say it happened on Temple Hill Road a little after 5.30 yesterday evening. When they got to the scene, they found 26-year-old Zachary Emerson on the ground and unconscious. Investigators say Emerson had recently been working on the motorcycle and was out for a test ride. Then he lost control and was thrown onto the road. Emerson was taken by helicopter to a hospital where he's being treated for a serious head injury. Police say he was not wearing a helmet at the time of the crash. An investigation is now underway, but authorities say neither speed or alcohol appear to be factors in the crash.